Hey guys, welcome to episode 13. Uh, we're going to carry on where we left off and we're going to do forward and backward. It's going to be done slightly differently. Uh, so if I go and open the script, if you can remember we created actually, we, we actually created a couple of variables to take in the top speed. We've got top speed, top reverse speed, acceleration and deceleration. Those will be used and um, we're going to use them now. So you can also see inside the script, I create actual speed and temp actual speed. I forgot to show you guys, if we hit play, it's exactly where I left you off, left, right, everything works. If we then go ahead and change the player state to not active, nothing works, you see? And what we'll do is, we'll do it on middle mouse click, and we'll change it to not active, so we can look around inside the ship, we'll activate a mouse look script so we can look around. And um, yeah, but for now, let's just carry on. Need our forward and back. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go in edit. Go down to project settings. Click on input. Uh, oh no, wait, no. <laughs> Sorry, don't worry. I think I told you in the last episode. Horizontal, vertical, everything set up by Unity. So you guys don't need to worry about it. In which case, let's go ahead, we'll put our speed here. So, in which case, let's get started. We're going to do temp actual speed. We're going to do actual speed equals math f dot lerp. What this will pretty much do is do a smooth creation, starting fast and ending slow. So it'll be a nice smooth animation. For example, if imagine it was my mouse, if I had to move to the end of the window, it'll go fast and then slow down towards the end. Uh, just a nice smooth according to the sensitivity we put. Um, in which case, in our ship model, I'm going to go ahead and add a speed sensitivity. So here, ship. Speed sensitivity. That's not useful. <laughs> sensitivity. Oh, yeah, I did get it right. I'm going to use that variable there. So if I copy that. No, oh, we don't need to copy it because we got a variable at the top. So, mathf.lerp, we're going to lerp our actual speed. We're going to smooth it to our temp actual speed. And then it's the amount we want to smooth it by basically how fast we want it to smooth, in which case we are going to copy our ship, paste it in and do dot flt ship speed sensitivity. Close that off. Now actual speed will smooth to temp actual speed, in which case temp actual speed is the one we want to change with the axis. So now inside our if statement over here, we're going to go ahead and do an if, if input um, dot get axis, it's pretty much the same as above, except this time vertical, I'm going to use the vertical axis, and I'm going to have if it's larger than zero, basically if something's being pushed, and um, larger, the way it works is if I push W, the vertical axis will go to 1. If I push S, it'll go to minus 1. So if we go larger than 0, we can tell that the W key has been pushed, basically the forward key. Uh, the reason why I don't use a W key, if we use vertical when we plug in a gamepad, gamepad uses horizontal and vertical axis as 2 with the analog, in which case it's a win-win. We don't have to program it later for a gamepad. So. 
Let's go ahead and carry on. Oh, and saying that, I think if you go ahead and plug in your gamepad and use it with Unity, you'll be able to see the changes straight away. You'll probably be able to move your ship already. Actually, I don't know. I don't think they use mouse X and mouse Y. I don't think gamepads have a mouse. Uh, that's why they're a gamepad. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and carry on. We're going to do actual speed plus equals, and then we're going to have our acceleration in which case we saved it in our ship model so copy that paste ship model dot flt max acceleration there we go sorry not max acceleration <laughs> and inside there we're going to have an if statement again it's going to say if actual speed is smaller than our max speed so ship model dot flt underscore ship top speed sorry basically if the actual speed is less than the top speed then go ahead and add more to the actual speed so I'm going to do an else to the vertical and go ahead and add another if statement in there and pretty much what we're going to do is copy the one above and change the greater than to less than so go ahead and save that um, so now we're pushing back either on the analog or the keyboard. Um, pretty much we want to do the opposite to the above. So I'm going to go ahead and create another if statement. We're going to have if actual speed um, is larger. No, 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 no. It's smaller than. Wait, would it be smaller? Sorry, my maths here is really bad. If speed is smaller than max forward speed, or if speed is smaller, is larger, sorry, yep, is larger than the max D acceleration speed. So we're going to go ahead and copy the mod ship model. Dot, and we'll do FLT again and have the max D acceleration. Wait, that's not the right one, is it? FLT max rev speed, that one, which we set to 80. So if actual speed is larger than, which means uh, top rev speed, if we go to the inspector, should be in the minus. Actually, we'll leave it as positive, and in here, we'll just change it to minus. Safe. Then we'll do the axis, axis actual speed minus equals mod flt underscore and that's where we put our deacceleration whoo that was a lot to go for basically forward and back will now change the actual speed in turn we'll change oh no wait no extra speed was supposed to be using the temp one sorry guys copy and paste <laughs> in which case in turn we'll end up with our actual speed smooth damping smoothly to the sensitivity oh, why am i burping so much jesus okay underneath where we smooth damp we're going to go ahead and add a force instead instead so pretty much like above where we added the torque except this time we're going to go ahead and add force the reason why i'm doing it outside of the if statement is because i want the speed to be active even if the ship isn't even if the ship isn't focused, if the speed isn't zero, we want the ship to be moving. Even if we're looking around the cockpit. Last thing we want to do is speed up, look around the cockpit and the ship stop. That's not what we want. So we're going to go ahead and add a force. It pretty much works in the same way. Not going to lie. Um, except the difference is it won't add torque. It'll just add force. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain that. And we're just pretty much going to do transform dot forward. We're going to go ahead and times that by um, actual speed. All right, I think my work here is done. If we go ahead and go into Unity and click on our ship and look at our stats, see there, actual speed. If we go ahead and hit play now, if everything was right, W and Oh, which shit isn't. Why isn't it right? Why isn't it working? 
What variable is that? Ship sensitivity zero. That would be Y. Just trying to smooth it with a speed of zero. <laughs> Make sure you go and add a value to that new variable we added, in which case I'm going to change to 0.5. Um, we'll change it while it's running and see what it's like. So if I hit play now, you can see W speeds it up. You can see it kind of tries to smooth it. So if I change that to 0.1, it should go slower. Like smooth slower. 0.05. Yeah, okay. There we go. Now we can fly around. Mouse isn't locked to the center there. You see it's nice and smooth. And now if you're probably wondering how do I stop it from resetting so fast. So if I swing my mouse you see it corrects itself pretty fast. Uh, that will be done within the rigid body. If I go ahead and hit play and we can play around with some of the variables. If I put angular drag to zero and drag normal drag to zero. You can see when we add force it just doesn't slow down. Right? Okay, in which case we will add corrections. If I add angular drag 1, you'll see it drags and starts to slow down. Um, but you see it takes a while to slow down. So if I change that to 2, slightly better. Actually, I'm going to leave it at 2. Um, now the drag, the way that will work, is in the speed. You see that moved really fast, there's no drag. If I now change the speed to 0, it'll just keep going. Um, We'll work on that later on, but for now I'm just going to leave it at 12. In which case the one I changed here was, that was the 2. And I'll leave drag at 4 for the minute. Okay, so we've got flying about, they got axis working, they got speed working. Um, yeah, let's see if we can reverse. Actually, I'm going to change that from 2. That's actually kind of slow, isn't it? I'm going to change that to 3. Alright. Now inside our uh, fixed update. I'm going to go ahead at the top. I'm just going to put an if input dot get button. Get button down. We'll have fire 3. For those of you who don't know, fire 3 is the middle mouse button set up by Unity. And then here we're going to have if. We're going to have pretty much the same one here. That if statement. So go ahead and copy that. Paste that in. Add an else to it as well. Just a blank else. There's our if statement. If our ship model is equal to active. We want to go ahead and change this equals I guess you can probably see what it's doing. If our ship player status is equal to active, set it to not active. Else, if it isn't equal to active, that it's active. So what it's pretty much doing here is just toggling it between the two when we click the middle mouse button. So we now go to Unity and click on our ship again. Make sure our uh, script is not minimized. If we go ahead and hit play, then the ship player, you can see when we click the middle mouse button, it changes. And it also stops us from controlling the ship. Why don't we click it again now? That's so strange. I actually think it's lagging a bit in the inspector. But yeah, that will do that. Alright, this was a quick episode compared to the other two, but I think this is a valid stopping point. And I'll catch up with you guys on the next episode. Oh, and let me know if you hit any bugs, we'll fix them along the way. <laughs>